popping or keeping well welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl here vanessa david thank you so much for subscribing to my youtube channel if you're new to this channel please subscribe leave a comment share with your friend and press the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time i upload a new video so guys in today's video i'm going to talk about ways we can level up in our 20s yeah it's time like we make it happen guys in our 20s it's never too late it's never too early for us to do it guys yeah so without much further ado let's get into the video so guys and to my first point on ways to level up in your 20s is like you have to keep yourself inspired and you have to dream big if your dream don't scare you guys you have to go back and sleep i remember when we were kids we used to dream how when i want to be 20 i want to be driving my own car i have my kids i have my good job i have my businesses and all that it's never too late maybe you are 29 you are approaching 30 you are in your late 25 you don't have to be scared you don't have to feel like you're losing it and all that go back to sleep have to dream big you have to keep yourself inspired you have to motivate yourself they always say like if people don't motivate you you have to motivate yourself keep on pushing it's never too late or it's never too early i remember when we were 20s 21 we felt like huh we are still too young we are still too young to dream big and all that but no guys if you need to level up in your 20s you have to dream big you have to have big ambitions you have to have things that will scare you you have to feel like will i really achieve this but you have to keep on pushing and you have to dream that big yeah so guys and to my point number two is like you have to budget you have to be ambitious about money and you have to invest for your future yeah so i was just thinking the other day what if when i was 20 i would i was saving like all this small money pocket money and all that i was saving right now i'll be owning something for myself or i'll be doing something good for myself but like i'll say it in my first uh point like it's never too late but when you are in your 20s it's the best best time you're not engaged in anything you don't have a kid or probably if you have a kid you are still too young your mind is still fresh you can brainstorm your mind and think about some nice nice idea you have to budget in everything that that you do you just don't have to spend anyhow and all that you have to be money money ambitious when you love money when you're ambitious about money you'll be pushed to to chase your dream you'll be pushed to face your fears you'll be pushed to do anything as long as you get that money so we have to be ambitious you have to invest about your future because the future is so big and they always say like life starts at 40 so imagine if you start investing at your 20 so like you'll be you'll be like saving up for 20 years when you reach 40 of course you'll be living your life the way you always wanted yeah my other point guys my point number three is like you have to be yourself you have to mind your own business mind the business that pays you and do what makes you happy I know so many people fear being judged. So many people fear what will my parents think about me? What will my friends think about me? Am I good enough and all that? No. You don't have to think that about yourself. You have to make it up and yourself. Don't feel judgy. Don't be judgy. Don't mind other people's business. If someone else is doing something else to get money, well, what is your business in that? Mind business that pays you. If that business, like, stop talking about people. Stop being judgy. Be yourself. If you feel like me modeling is making me happy, even if another person is like, ah, I think your shape, you're not a model, or you don't fit to be a model, don't even think about that. Don't even, like, um, underrate yourself because that someone just said, like, you're not good enough. Don't ever think about what will people say about me do what makes you happy because when you reach 60 years is when you realize i wish i could have done what i i like i wish i could have made those mistakes when i'm i'm 20 i wish i could have chased my dreams i wish i could be like that good chef when i was in my 20 i wish i could have done that i wish i could have cooked those nani pilau mwi too i could have cooked all those pilau jerry and all that when i was 20 right now when i'm when i when I'm, right now in my 40 i will be improving i'll be a big chef and all that so be yourself in anything that you do never never ever ever think about what people will say about me as long as it makes you happy as long as it brings food in your table girl go for it do it don't ever think about what people are saying about you my other point is like you have to be disciplined you have to be consistent you have to stop procrastination yeah 
Procrastination has killed so many dreams. Procrastination has killed so many ambitions. Guys, in our 20s, we need to level up by stopping procrastination. We need to level up by being disciplined. I know when you're 20, some of the some of some of some of you guys started living alone when maybe you are 20, 21, 22, 23, or even 25, or even even 30. You have to be disciplined. You don't have to know what you're doing. Don't make those silly, silly mistakes that when you are 30 or when you are 40, you're like, I wish I could have not, I, I wish I didn't do what I, I wish I didn't do that thing and all that. So just be disciplined. Even if you have that freedom and all that, be disciplined. That's what we call leveling up in our 20s. So guys, my point number five is investing in yourself. Yes, invest in yourself health-wise look wise and all that what who are we working for we are working for ourselves we are, we are not working for anybody so stop impressing people you have to like you have to work for yourself you have to your inner self you have to be happy with yourself you have to love yourself you have to treat yourself nicely you have to eat healthy you have to feed your mind with healthy things you have to feed your mind with things that will make you grow with things that will make you be ambitious and all that so guys on this my point uh like i will say you have to invest in yourself be happy with yourself go to a shop buy that perfume for five thousand buy that perfume for two thousand it's your own you're working for yourself what would you feel bad treating yourself guys hmm? me i always say if i want something i always go for it it doesn't mean like I'll wake up one day and go to the shop and buy perfume for 20,000, 10,000. No, I'll save it for it so that I can be able to treat myself. You can do this like monthly or maybe in your birthday, you can buy for yourself something nice. Don't wait for someone. Like, don't wait for someone to come and treat you nice. Don't wait for someone to come and make you feel good about yourself. No, you'll be cheating yourself. You'll be lying to yourself. If you're waiting for someone to come and treat you nice, then you don't love yourself, then you're not investing on yourself. If you're investing on yourself, you'll treat you yourself nice. You'll go to that nice restaurant. Take that your 1,000, 2,000. Go to a nice restaurant, order some cheese, order some fries, order some half half chicken, full chicken. Eat, eat for yourself, guys. Go home, feel happy about yourself. And to my point number six is you have to pick your friends carefully. Yeah, I say that. Pick friends who will still talk nicely when you're not there. Pick friends who will motivate you. Pick friends who will support your business. Pick friends who will get you gigs. Pick friends who are aligning to your dreams. Pick friends who motivate you. Pick friends, pick friends, pick friends. Choose your friends carefully. I know when we are in our 20s, we don't care about who we choose to be our friends. We just, we're just in the flow, but no guys, they always say, show me your friends and I'll show who, who you are. So you have to make sure you choose your friends wisely. Know who you're going for as a friend. Not someone who you, like, you'll walk away and they'll be talking shit behind your back. No. Choose friends who will support you, who supports anything you'll do, who will be marketing you when you don't even know, who will be talking nicely even when you're not even on that table, guys. So choose your friend wisely. So my point number seven is like you have to plan everything that you do wake up in the morning it's a monday morning you have to plan what you're going to do between from monday to friday like for me even my friends know if you're not telling me like i maybe we need to go somewhere on a friday or a saturday you'll just call me and i'll tell you maybe i'm busy and all that i like planning everything that i do if it's for my youtube video i know like for week one this is what i'm going to vlog about for my week two this is what i'm going to vlog about for today this is what i want to do and all that if you plan yourself you always find yourself like moving swiftly you always find find yourself like uh doing your things according to what you plan for and all that guys so it's good to always plan yourself have a plan know what you're going to do in this month have goals know what you want to achieve write them down don't be scared write them down this is what i want to achieve in this week this is what i want to achieve in the next two weeks in the next three weeks in the next one year and you'll find yourself like ticking off like a bucket list yeah this is where I want to go and all that. You'll find yourself ticking them off one by one. And this is what I have achieved. So guys, we need to level up in our 20s. And if you follow all these things, you'll find yourself like improving on one or two things. I know I'm not perfect and all that, but this is what can work for you guys. So 
you can take one or two things from here and you'll find yourself like improving on yourself so guys my last point is you need to educate yourself they say knowledge is power knowledge can never expire guys you need to educate yourself mr google should be your friend like for me it works for me if i don't know anything if you want to try a new recipe if you want to know about uh maybe uh editing skill and all that i just visit mr google i don't need to ask anyone me i'm not good on reading books to be honest i won't lie for you like start reading books and all that i'm not good at reading books but i don't know i need to i need to like um grow that culture of reading and all that i don't like reading i don't like reading books but i, I can i can watch i can listen to the audio books and all that but reading I'm not a fan of that, but I need actually to do that. So you need to educate yourself. You need to feed your mind with ideas. You need to feed your mind with nice things. You need to feed your mind with educational concepts. You need to feed your mind with knowledge because knowledge will never expire. And it's always good when you you are on the know-how. So guys, oh, I feel like I've just told you everything that you need to level up. It's up to you to choose either you will follow the path or you'll choose your own way i like i said earlier on i'm not perfect this is what i've learned from other people this is what i feel like can work for myself and that's why i'm coming here to like motivate you guys to push you guys to follow your dream chase your dreams when you're young because when you are 40 you'll be too old you'll feel like, like there's some things you cannot do when you're 40 but a lot of things you can do when you are 20 so if you need to like enjoy your 20s if you need to enjoy those years you need to level up in your 20s guys so guys don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel show me some love let's get to a thousand subscribers before the end of june guys so share with your friends uh press the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time i upload a new video and consistency is my second name I'm going to be uploading my videos on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. So guys, watch out on my videos, watch out on my channel so that you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Leave a comment, share with your friends. Let's get to a thousand subscribers. Thank you so much for the love, guys. Be blessed. Bye-bye.